again, yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, I don't particularly like theme parks in this country. I don't like white knuckle rides or anything like that. But there's just something for everybody, you know. There's so much to see, and everything's there's so much colour and everything's so spectacular. But what rides did you like then? If you're not, you know, not keen on the real scary ones, because I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, dress sense. I mean, I liked the simulated type things because, I don't know, it just felt safer on mm -hmm. them. But they're just so good, like, and, you know, and everything's so spectacular and, you know, so much. Tell me which is terrifying. I mean, actually, you liked all the water parks best, yeah, I know. Sure. And what about this one that's got a 90 degree drop? Oh. Yeah, that's good. You, it takes about an hour to queue up and everything. It's a really popular ride. Mm -hmm. And it takes about two seconds to get down to the bottom. <laughs> Which park's this? Yeah, that was at um, Blizzard, Blizzard Beach. Yeah. Blizzard Beach. Oh, oh, what yeah, happens in this queue? Are you just standing there for an hour in this mm. queue? Does it not drive feel, you? No, it doesn't even feel like you're in it because everyone's just talking and laughing. Yeah. It's just like the weather's so good that you just you just accept it. In this country, of course, the weather's slightly different and everywhere seems to be not as good out there. You just don't really notice it. You're just yeah. moving along and everyone takes it in good heart. They organise it so well. You know, you're... you're, you're sort of entertained while you're queuing and things like that people come along and sometimes they'll have TV screens up with things going on so, so but what, once quickly. you get on these rides I think we've got a picture of, of Ashley on, in the water oh. <laughs> wow oh no there's no, no way you would get me on that <laughs> either that's horrific you must have left your stomach right back up at the top yeah, straight away. and I bet you got back in that queue and went again didn't yeah, you yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just knew it I just knew it you're, you're back probably turn to red because it's like all hard. Absolutely. Right, you just look completely terrifying. But you've got to come back and tell us more about the flights because I know that you're really keen to go straight back there again yeah. or as soon as you possibly can because it was a great holiday. Thanks very much indeed. Now let's get back to where you could stay when you visit this great destination. Now, after a hard day's fun, our next hotel has just what you might need because all the units have patios overlooking the gardens and lagoons. So can you think of a better place to enjoy a cocktail and rest your tired feet? Close to Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, the Double Tree Guest Suites Resort offers the charm of a small Spanish village with the warmth of the Florida sunshine. The self-catering suites are located in beautiful landscape gardens with interconnecting boardwalks. The suites can have up to three bedrooms. The rooms are spacious. The large bathrooms clean and well equipped. The rooms have king, queen and double beds. The suites are air conditioned and the kitchen has everything you require with oven, microwave, and fridge. But if you prefer not to cook, a delivery service is available. At the Double Trees Guest Suites Resort, you'll enjoy your trip to Orlando even more. Well, the next hotel was designed with children in mind. The Holiday Inn Sunsbury Resort has a cyber arcade so the kids can have fun while you relax. And there's even someone to keep an eye on them. Yep, Max the Raccoon, the hotel's mascot, will no doubt keep them entertained for ages. They'll love that. The Holiday Inn Sunsbury Resort. Children are a priority. They have their own check-in. There are several types of kids suites available. These let your children have fun whilst keeping them nearby. The standard rooms have two double beds with iron, microwave and hairdryer as standard. All rooms have ensuite bathrooms. There's also a video and TV with a selection of tapes available to hire in the lobby. What makes this hotel special, though, are the features for the kids. Cyber Cafe. Movie Theatre. 
And Max's Magic Castle are just some of the activities that your children can do in between visiting the theme parks. Or you can relax by the pool. An excellent choice for a family holiday. The Holiday Inn Sunsbury Resort. enjoy Orlando but you like the idea of spending your holiday in a quaint little village our next hotel is the one for you because Disney's Caribbean Beach Hotel is divided into five colorful Caribbean villages to fulfill your holiday wishes Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort set deep within the heart of Walt Disney World is made up of five colorful Caribbean style villages surrounding a tranquil lake Beautiful landscape grounds house traditionally styled accommodation. The perfect setting for a relaxing holiday with white sandy shorelines, palm trees and exotic gardens. You can enjoy a boat ride or just soak in the sun. The hotel is totally self-contained with bars, restaurants and cafes. Each village complex has its own heated pool. There are kids' playgrounds, a games room, and gift shops. All the fun of Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and of course Orlando are only a short bus ride away from the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort. Once we've got details of so many great places to stay in Orlando, every so often we'll just make a little pause to give you a quick recap. recap. So here's the first one. We started by having a look at Disney's Dixie Landings Resort. This is a great place for a little trip back in time. The mansion houses and Mississippi-style waterways will make you feel like a character in Gone with the Wind. Then we looked at the Radisson Resort Parkway, which is based in Kissimmee. Now, this fantastic hotel is just minutes from Disney World, so you can spend even more time with a friendly Disney guy. For those who want to burn off some calories during their stay, the Howard Johnson Main Gate has three swimming pools to choose from, as well as a fitness centre. The Doubletree Guest Suites Resort will not only charm you with its cosy Spanish village feel, but also keep you active on the tennis court and in the swimming pool. Then we took a peek at the Holiday Inn Sunsbury Resort, which is a great place for families. It's the hotel where Max the Raccoon will keep your children entertained, allowing you to have an even more relaxing holiday. Finally, we sampled the tropical atmosphere of the brightly coloured villages within Disney's Caribbean Resort. And as you can see, it's a charming resort, and just think of that white sandy beach and heated swimming pool. Well, it's an incredible selection, and there's more to come. Whatever your destination, for your security and peace of mind, the TV Travel Shop is fully APTA bonded. Well, if you like to shop till you drop, the location of the next hotel may be perfect for you. The Quality in Plaza is in the heart of International Drive, so right next to one of the best selections of shops and restaurants around. Or you can stay at the friendly Quality Inn International. That's the sister hotel of the Plaza. The Quality Inn Plaza and its nearby sister, the Quality Inn International, are located on International Drive in central Orlando. The generous rooms all have cable TV, private bathrooms, and are attractively furnished. The Quality Inns offer everything you would expect from hotels of this standard, including three delightful swimming pools. You'll also find games rooms, bars, and a large restaurant on the premises. And kids under 12 eat free.
Convenient for the theme parks, Bells Mall and International Drive, it's got to be the Quality Inns Plaza or International. Our next hotel is right by some of the best shopping around, but it's a green oasis of peace and relaxation. The Orlando Marriott on International Drive is a grand hotel, right in Orlando's holiday center. Built on 48 acres of tropical landscape gardens, it brings immediate relaxation and calm to even the most stressed holidaymaker. The hotel's central location puts you at the heart of this city's attractions, with Universal Studios, SeaWorld, Wet n Wild, and Bells Mall just a bus hop away. The lovely rooms offer the same high standards, all with TV and ensuite bathrooms. Cars have been cleverly excluded from the hotel grounds so you can be sure of a peaceful stay. There are sun terraces, three generous swimming pools, two children's pools and a jacuzzi. You'll find seven different places to eat, from simple poolside sandwiches and pizzas to continental cuisine. There are playgrounds for kids, four floodlit tennis courts and a jogging circuit. All this is topped off with the Illusions nightclub. You'll enjoy your stay at the Orlando Marriott. TV Travel Shop Text gives you even more travel information. Available at the touch of your remote. Once you've chosen a likely destination from our range of video brochures, our text will give you full details of all properties, flight information and prices. Browse visa requirements, special offers, flight only information, and check out our late section for last minute deals. Look before you book with TV Travel Shop Text at page 200. I can tell you're in the mood to book a holiday. Well, get ready for some real bargains now. Stay tuned because we're off to the call centre for some more offers of the week. destinations we have to entice you with if you're planning to take a break in the near future. In a moment we'll go back to our exploration of Orlando so stay tuned for more fun 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 with a side serving of fries and ketchup. And after that we fly to stunning Cancun where you can salsa the night away or relax and enjoy the spicy Mexican food. And we'll end the day listening to steel drums and sipping rum punch on the beautiful and friendly island of Jamaica. This is a holiday you need to leave all your troubles behind. Hello, I'm Catherine Holloway. Now, here on the TV Travel Shop, we try to give you as much information as possible about all of the destinations that we feature. But, of course, one aspect of booking a holiday, which is really hard to be specific on, is the cost of your holiday to you. Yeah, it's really complicated, actually, arriving at the final price of a holiday because there are so many individual items which all add together to make up that price. It's not just, of course, the destination that's taken into account. The price will depend on the number of people you're travelling with, which airport you depart from, what standard of accommodation you want to stay in, how many children in your party, the ages of the kids, the list is endless. We've tried to make pricing as simple as possible, so the price that we show on screen is the lowest price that you might expect to pay for that holiday. But in high season, you might find that the cost is a little more. So for the exact price of your chosen holiday, you can turn to TV Travel Shop Text, page 200. There you're guided to the holiday you want and the final cost to you and your family. But now back to Orlando. Now, do you fancy a gentle swim followed by a Long Island iced tea served from the poolside bar? Well, then the Gateway Inn is the place for you. Not only is it a relaxing and comfortable oasis, it's also close to many of Orlando's attractions. The Gateway Inn is close to the hundreds of famous attractions and International Drive in central Orlando. It offers great value holidays for all the family in a relaxed and friendly atmosphere. Everyone will find lots to do. There's a games arcade and mini golf for the more energetic. Accommodation is built around the sheltered courtyards where the rooms offer a comfortable stay.
many of the rooms face out onto one of the two swimming pools. And there's a poolside bar. Free and frequent buses take you direct to all major attractions. The Gateway Inn, the gateway to Orlando. Well, still in the bustling area of International Drive, we have the Embassy Suites. Now, you're so spoilt in this place, they even organize free cocktail receptions for you there. With International Drive leading directly to SeaWorld, Universal Studios, hundreds of shops and restaurants, the Embassy Suites is a very special hotel. This is an impressive building, with a covered atrium filled with plants, trees and waterfalls. The one-bedroom suites are comfortably furnished. They have ample wardrobe space, with an ensuite bathroom, an extra convertible sofa bed, and a fridge and microwave in the dining area. Back on ground level again, you'll discover a children's pool next to the main outdoor pool and heated jacuzzi. There's also an indoor pool. When it comes to food, there's a free American breakfast each morning. And cocktails are served in the evening before dinner in the restaurant or pizza parlor. Relax and enjoy. The Embassy Suites. Now all the great hotels you saw just now and a couple that you saw before we went to our call centre are based around International Drive. Now as we said earlier, this is the area to be in if you want to go wild and enjoy Orlando's shopping facilities. So let's just have another quick look at what's on offer there again. Well the first hotel we saw was the Quality Inn Plaza. Now this is a very popular hotel with guests coming back year after year to enjoy its great location. We also had a look at the Quality Inn International, the sister hotel to the Quality Inn Plaza. This friendly hotel offers a children's swimming pool for hours of entertainment. The Orlando Marriott is a real treat with its gorgeous tropical gardens and beautiful lagoons and fountains. It's an incredible oasis of peace. With a mini golf course, the Gateway Inn is so much fun you might just be tempted to stay in instead of going out. And if you do venture out, when you return, what could be better than relaxing at the poolside bar? With palms and waterfall setting, the scene at the Embassy Suites is great and you're bound to have a dream holiday. The jacuzzi and sauna room will also help you relax and forget all your troubles. And as we mentioned earlier, all of the above hotels are based around International Drive, which is a fantastic area for shopping, also for restaurants and all the fun you can cope with. But stay with us now because we have some more great offers coming up for you in this fantastic destination. And remember that if you are interested in any of the holidays we've shown you, then all you have to do is to call one of our friendly travel consultants on 0845 600 3040. From the 1st of July, you can watch the TV Travel Shop for 11 hours every day with even more destinations, guests and special offers. So if you're looking for a holiday, planning a weekend break, or just want to dream yourself away for a couple of hours, tune in to TV Travel Shop from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, seven days a week. Well, by now you'll have gathered there's really, really loads to do in Orlando. In fact, there are so many things that when our camera crews visited, they had to make not one, but two films to show you. Here's the first. Celebrating some 80 years of feature film production, the rides at Universal Studios Florida, such as Jaws, will grab you right out of your seat. The Terminator 2 3D battle across time is the high-tech cutting edge of cinema, combined with the power of complex ride technology. Innovative 3D imaging brings fiction closer than you could ever imagine. You'll meet up with E.T. Adventure, still pedaling furiously across the galaxy or come face to face with King Kong in confrontation as your cable car is suspended above a darkened New York City. Find out what it's really like when the Earth moves beneath your feet in Earthquake, the big one. 
or strap yourself in and fly back to the future. The Ride. Universal Studios Florida specializes in offering cutting-edge, high-technology entertainment, including Twister, Ride It Out, due to open this year. There's SeaWorld of Florida, with an unparalleled mix of spectacular shows and environmental responsibility. Here, the animals are totally in their element. The park mixes entertainment with education, and you can marvel at the antics of your fellow man. On the serious side, SeaWorld offers sanctuary to the manatee, and a successful breeding program confirms the animal's well-being and security. The incredible wild Arctic offers you a close-up view of a rare and beautiful wonderland. Everyone will make real friends here at SeaWorld. Wet n Wild is one of the biggest, wettest water parks ever. Good job Florida has got lots of sunshine. There are slides, rides, chutes, flumes, pools and lakes. It's great for kids here too, as they gain confidence in water. Whilst in the evenings, things really take off, with summer nights fun at Wet n Wild. And how about a trip to Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, Florida, to see wild animals roaming free in this African theme park. The Orlando Flex Ticket combined with SeaWorld, Universal Studios Florida, Bush Gardens and Wet n Wild means you can go to whichever you choose, whenever you like. It's all part of the great experience that is Orlando, Florida. Fantastic, doesn't it? Now still with us to tell us more about gorgeous Orlando, some of the attractions they got to visit there. We've got the Beckett family. Thanks very much for staying on with us. We are talking about Disney World last time, but I know Universal Studios was the big hit with you, particularly, wasn't it, Carol? Mm, yeah, yeah, because I love film, so that was really good, because you get to see all the back lots, and um, it's really good. There, and the yeah. best ride? Um, <clears throat> probably Back to the Future. Yeah, that was brilliant. And what's it like? Yeah. That's like a simulated ride, and, and you feel like you're sort of, um, you know, in the film where they shoot through time, and, and you feel like that, and you sort of you yeah, but the, the scaredy cats like us. We don't like that sort of thing, do we? Well, I mean, I screamed all the way through it, but I mean, <laughs> you come out and you think, oh yeah, I've got to go on it again. <laughs> it's very good. Can, uh, you know, is Universal one where you can actually um, see some TV programs being made? Do they get to give out tickets and? Uh, yeah, they've got the Nickelodeon studios there, so you can go in and watch the. Um, I think they do Keenan and Kel and. Um, um, Sabrina, is it? Yeah. Teenage Witch. Yeah. It's great you could go in and actually yeah. be in the oh, audience. Yeah. It's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. 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 And they do a mock show as well where they, they get the kids to do things and um, you, you're in the audience and uh, that's really nice. Yeah. What about eating around? I mean, are these places all very close to one another? Because you've been to obviously a, a huge variety of the things. Yeah, they're within, within 20, 25 minutes. Um, we hired a car out there anyway, so it made things life a lot easier and the motorways there are so expansive, it's so simple to drive on. Very, very easy operation. To get Do you not get out of the airport and suddenly think, oh, I'm, what am I doing in this huge American car? Well, I don't drive, so I was quite lucky. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> it was me. No, one of my first sexist of me to assume that. But you found you it quite easy, quite easy? Well, yeah, I mean, at first I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do? Like, But, I mean, it's just so easy to drive. I mean, I just, I was dreading it, but it was just so easy. Would you say it was essential to hire a car? Um, you need to have some form of transportation. If you don't hire a car, then you need to stay at a hotel that, that gives you transportation into the theme parks because it is so massive that, you know, you'd, you'd pay fortunes for taxis to and from. In terms of money for money, what about eating out? Because, I mean, it's absolutely famous as a place for these giant portions everywhere that you go. Yeah, what sort of prices yeah. were you paying? Uh, it was about, well, for uh, eat as much as you can, about... <laughs> Which was a bit of a challenge for Steve. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah it was about eight dollars, wasn't it? Yeah, I and mean, it was the equivalent of about five, six pounds. You could just eat all day and night. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Suited me well. We've got a photograph of what, what? Where are you there? What are you eating there? Yeah, well, that's at one of the um, the restaurants at Universal. It was like a an, um, like a fifties type restaurant with all rock oh, and roll. Yeah, that was really good. 
not you, Ashley. You know, there you are on holiday with your family. You're probably at... How old are you? 60. Now, you're probably at, at an age now where you don't necessarily want to be stuck with the olds all the time. <laughs> well, was, was there plenty for you to do as a teenager? Yeah, yeah. And you just, if you like being a big kid, then it's more fun as well. well. What about in the evening? There's this Pleasure Island place, isn't there? Yeah, that, that was good. There was like a fireworks display every night. Like, pretend that they like, simulate it's New Year's. And they have a fireworks display that's quite good there, is there? Did you get to stay up late, Charlotte, when you were away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How late is the latest they let you stay up till? Um, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Oh, <laughs> mighty ten o'clock. Way past my bedtime, I can tell you. Certainly Mickey, Mickey Mouse is in bed by seven. I know that for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> so what about other places that you can really recommend and that you'd like to go back to again? So you said you want to go back there on holiday. Yeah. I mean, I'd say mine was uh, universal, but I mean, we didn't get to do Sea World, or uh, I'd love to go to Kennedy Space Centre as well. I think that would be really good. Um, but they were all really good. I mean, you just now, couldn't. I have to say, this is absolutely <laughs> splendid. Where, where was this drawn? That was at Universal Studios, yeah. That is wonderful. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, no, I think we've actually got, we can see you having it done. There, there, there it is. Yeah. In a work, an artist's work in progress. Absolutely fantastic. That is uncannily like both of you, actually. When you've been back again, you have to come back in and tell us all about yeah. it, whether it lived up yeah, to the though. first holiday. Lovely to see you all again. Thank you. It's time to have a look at more of the places that you could select for your stay if you go over there. See if the Comfort Suites Hotel's one for you. As a welcome contrast to the hustle and bustle of the theme parks, the Comfort Suites Hotel offers the full range of facilities within a quiet, peaceful setting. The large airy rooms offer two double beds and a pull-out sofa. There's also a refrigerator and microwave for those snacks when you return from the pool. There are also coffee-making facilities in every room. The bathroom is clean and simple. For peace of mind, safes are provided for your passports and valuables. The hotel offers free breakfast and children 10 and under can eat for free in the Sizzler restaurant nearby. Enjoy a swim in this lush oasis. Suites Hotel offers attractive surroundings and a tranquil atmosphere to complete your holiday. Gorgeous gardens, three swimming pools, two whirlpools, a tennis court, plenty of restaurants. And that's not all yet. The Residence Inn by Marriott really aims to spoil you. Tucked safely away in classy Lake Buena Vista, the Residence Inn by Marriott caters especially for those who value their independence. There are guest services, a deli, and grocery store open long hours. There's even a pizza hut on site too. The self-catering accommodation is grouped in house units in these beautiful grounds around the hotel center. With comprehensive facilities and plenty of storage space, a choice of one and two bedroom suites are available, sleeping four or six respectively. There are three pools, whirlpools, and access to the Marriott 18-hole golf course next door. And central Orlando is only 15 minutes away from the Residence Inn by Marriott. If you're not hugely enthusiastic about going abroad, but you still want to enjoy this superb destination, well, we have the solution for you. It's the Grosvenor Resort, with its British-style pub, a cricket's bar, and even the Sherlock Holmes restaurant. I wonder if they serve you baked beans and toast for breakfast. One of the longest established resorts right on Disney's doorstep, the Grosvenor Resort, is probably the most distinguished of all. There is more than a hint of classic Britishness in its gracious and spacious halls, and a quality of service to match. There's actually a Sherlock Holmes museum in the resort, and a murder mystery dinner each week. 
The elegant rooms are very comfortable and well furnished, with ensuite bathrooms. Within the beautiful cultivated lakeside gardens, you'll also find tennis courts and two excellent swimming pools. For the children, there's an adventure play area. There's a Disney shop and a games arcade. Work out in the fitness center. or dine in the 24-hour cafe or the Baskerville restaurant. Free daily transport is provided to all the Disney theme parks from just outside the front door. The Grosvenor Resort really is home away from home. Well, if you're a bit of a sport or music fanatic, then you might find that Disney's all-star resorts are the perfect place for you. Here you can't escape the two themes which are reflected in everything, from the guitar-shaped swimming pool to the oversized sports accessories found scattered around the place. But hey, Orlando's the right place to get into the spirit of things. So what are you waiting for? Book now. With regular free coaches to all of the Walt Disney World attractions, the Disney All-Star Sports Resort and the adjoining Disney All-Star Music Resort are sited within Walt Disney World. Each resort offers a central reception area with services, restaurants and shops. There are four pools with children's pools and playgrounds. These imaginative but affordable resorts focus on music and sports themes. Each of the accommodation areas boasts bold, larger-than-life icons of American culture. Kids will love exploring. Each new corner, an adventure in color, scale, and design. You'll soon appreciate the advantage of being on-site at Disney, with guaranteed entrance, guest privileges, and quick, easy transportation. After a long day in Walt Disney World, you'll welcome the comfortable elegance of these family-sized rooms with their individual theme decor. These ensuite rooms cater cleverly for all the family's needs to ensure a great stay. Disney's all-star resorts, just perfect for a real giant of a holiday. Well, as promised, time now for the second half of TV Travel Shop's look at what you could be doing in fun-filled Florida. Orlando, Florida isn't just about Disney and Universal Studios. Another great attraction is the Arabian Nights. This is a real treat for horse lovers, but everyone will love to see the famous Lipizzaner Stallions. The show, based on the dreams of Princess Scheherazade, involves spectacular stunts, superb horsemanship, and a thrilling chariot race. Another family attraction is the Pirate's Island Mini Golf. You can test your skill, whatever your handicap, on these novelty greens. Here, the two intertwined 18-hole courses will provide hours of fun with a pirate theme. So, for a hole-in-one, it's Yo-Ho-Ho -ho for Pirates Mini Golf. In Orlando, Florida, the moon is only about an hour away. Or pieces of it are pieces of real moon rock at the Kennedy Space Center. Here, you can spend hours wandering around the complex and its adjoining rocket garden. You'll learn all about the past, present, and future of space exploration. There are also the IMAX cinemas with 55-foot screens showing a selection of space-related films. The center has good restaurants, a gift shop, and snack bars. And you never know, you may be lucky enough to see an actual shuttle launch. Something unique to Orlando, Florida. Well, there are clearly some amazing places to visit and some great places to stay. Here's another reminder. First, we had a look at the Comfort Suites Hotel with its huge American breakfast every morning. Just what you need to build up your energy for a great day out at the theme parks. 
And then we moved on to a wonderfully peaceful hotel, the Residence Inn by Marriott. And that's perfect for those who want to relax and recover before going off to discover the joys of Orlando. We also had a look at the Grosvenor Resort, situated in the official Disney hotel zone of Lake Buena Vista. This hotel, with its quaintly British flavour, will amuse you and make you feel very much at home. Then we took you into the heart of Disney's all-star resorts. Music and sports fanatics will really get into the swing of things here and are bound to have a good time. Now, as always, for more details, do turn to page 200 on Travel Shop Text. And remember that those pages are accessible 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And to make a booking, call 0845 600 3040. You're watching the TV Travel Shop.